Hey guys, what is up? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to put pictures on your TI-84 Plus CE calculator. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the picture that you want to put on your calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and go on Google and just search up explosion. And then let's go to images. And this looks nice. So let's drag it onto my desktop and then close this. The next thing you're going to want to do is download a program called TI Connect CE. If you already have this program, you can just skip this step, but if you don't, make sure you download it and then install it. Now that you have TI Connect CE, just open it up by searching for it. And you should see this screen. On the sidebar, there will be three tabs, so click on the Calculator Explorer tab. Now take one end of your calculator charging cable, plug it into your calculator, and take the other end and plug it into your computer. Now you should see a list of everything that is on your calculator. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like this, it will look different for everybody. So now just drag this window off to the side, and then take your image file and drag it into the list. Click on All Connected Calculators and replace existing content with the same name on the destination calculator and click send. One important thing to mention is that if you want to put multiple pictures on your calculator, you will need to put them under different names. So let's say I wanted to drag this image and I want it to coexist with the other image. So I would have to go here and choose another image. You can have at most 10 images on your calculator at a time. So now to actually open the image, press second, program, press the left arrow key, and then background on. Now press varse, and scroll down to picture and background, press the right arrow key, and you will see a list of all of the pictures that are on your calculator. So select the one you want, and then press enter. And you can press the graph button to view your image. If you want to get rid of the axes, you can press second, zero, and then scroll down to axes off. And now your image will be there with no axes. If you would like to turn off your background, press 2nd, Program, press the left arrow key, and then do background off. And then if you want to turn back on the axes, do 2nd, 0, and then scroll down to axes, on, and it will turn on the axes. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.